Are we rolling? Yes, we are. What's up, guys? It's Boy McKinley Crane, and today I'm going to be talking about the importance of the Quantum Realm. You know, from Ant Man and Ant Man and the Wasp, and from the MCU, and what it can mean for like the future of Marvel and stuff like that. All right. So, uh, the Quantum Realm is like you know, it's like this. this it's almost like Marvel's version of the Speed Force, but for, like, Ant-Man, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... You know how people are saying, like, what's Marvel gonna do, like, after Avengers 4 and, like, they all, like, resurrect back? Well... Besides a whole bunch of, like, spinoffs and stuff like that... And probably throwing in Galactus, you know. There are, um, um, They're probably gonna start doing, like, the multiverse stuff. Like, since, you know, the Quantum Realm, like, is, like, the... It's the key. It's, like, the stitch. The piece of duct tape. It holds the universe together it's like you can travel it's like the wormhole you can like travel from like one multiverse to another you know what i'm saying so could we be getting like another origin story from like an alternate character and then like they just like team up you know what i'm saying also does anybody like you know like wonder if Miles Morals and Peter Parker meet each other through um, uh, the Quantum Realm in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. You know that movie that's coming up? They don't really say how they meet each other. It's probably going to be from, like, the Mysterio machine or whatever. Wait, I think they they did say something about that in the trailer. Yeah. <coughs> but Mysterio could be using the Quantum Realm in this, like, or something like that. He could have, like, created something. But, you know... It's, you know, it's probably just something that, like, leads you to the quantum realm, you know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe that's what they're using. I mean, seriously, this is possible. All right, so, uh... In uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, it's just like, well, the, being in the quantum, quantum realm, kind of like messing around with your DNA, kind of like how they're shimming, or like the shimmer, whatever it's called, like, reflects your DNA or something, in the movie Annihilation, yeah, I can kind of see the, like, <coughs> similarities, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, well, I think this could have something to do with the future of the MCU, I mean, just think. What if we had, like, the alternate universe characters? That would be flipping awesome. And, uh, we could see Miles Morales meeting Peter Parker in the MCU, not just in the Sony, like, universe. It could happen, people. <coughs> what if that's, like, all of a sudden that's Disney's way of, like, connecting the Fox universe, the Fox Marvel universe, to the MCU without completely rebooting it? You know, since, you know, we've had good Marvel Fox movies, Deadpool 2, Logan, you know, Days of Future Past. And a whole bunch of fans would not be happy if that got rebooted. So what if there were, like, a way to, like, connect it, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if it was, like, all part of a different, like, universe? <coughs> Since you can tell that, like, Days of Future Past can't be part of the MCU. Because, like, you know, you know how there's, you know, how Wolverine goes back in time, you know, stops from Mystique, timelines messed up. 
well, not messed up, but fixed, uh, actually. Well, MCU doesn't have an effect. And it already wasn't part of the MCU. This is just, like, double confirmed, like, another reason. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... What if this is the way... A whole bunch of people are saying that Venom could be con is connected to the MCU. Like, there's a rumor. What if this is the way? What if it, this can, like, hop into, like, Sony's universe, you know what I'm saying? And Tom Holland will finally get to meet Tom Hardy, you know what I'm saying? Well, he probably already has, like, the actors, but, I mean, the Tom, the Tom Hardy Venom and the Tom Holland Spider-Man, that would be flipping awesome. Just think about it. Oh, and I want more of, like, the Quantum City, like, wonder how much of a big effect that's going to have. <coughs> <coughs> kind of reminds me of, like, Atlanta City or whatever. Like, Atlantis, kind of. Lost City, you know what I'm saying? But Marvel style. Anyway. I think this is going to have, like, this is gonna just, this is gonna, like, affect the future of Marvel. And, hey, you know, what if none of the others, what if this Spider-Man wasn't a reboot? I mean, what if, like, Spider-Man Homecoming wasn't a reboot? Oh, and by the way, it's pretty much obvious that Into the Spider-Verse is, like, a side universe or whatever, and not into, like, it's not part, it's not a reboot, since, you know, that's one of the reasons why they made it animated, <coughs> since, you know, they, they did that with, like, Batman vs. Superman and Lego Batman, like, two separate Batman universes going on at the same time, you know, two separate Batman timelines, well, yeah, they're doing this with Spider-Man, like, it's not a reboot, guys, there's a sequel to Homecoming coming out, it's called Far From Home, and, uh, the villain just got confirmed, you know, it was originally a rumor, but now it's just flat out confirmed. Alright, if you all like this video, like, hit that like button, subscribe, tell me if you think the Quantum Realm is just as important as I said it is, or do you think it's more important, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, join the notification squad, hit that little bell, comment, you can share this video. You know, share this video with friends. Like, you know, wouldn't mind a shout out. Yeah, but um, uh, you know what I'm saying. <coughs> anyway, this could this could just flat out. You know. You know, Disney's probably just gonna end up buying Sony since you know. Disney wants like all the rights to Marvel. And, yeah, okay, you know, they already bought Marvel, so, you know, you ever know what's going to happen. Okay, I will return.